It's the vibe with Tanya Rad and EJ. I'm here with one of my favorite artists, truly on the planet, BB Rexa. Oh, you're one of my favorite radio posts or uh, personalities, right? Really? Is that the right? I'm the same thing. Same Honestly, difference. you're my favorite. So I, well, I'm going to like, I'm obsessed with you and you know that I'm obsessed with you. I meet a lot of musicians, artists, songwriters, and I think you are literally like one of the top, top of our generation. Like I, no, I'm serious. Tanya. I tell you this all the time. I'm going to put this on my Instagram. Is that okay? Yeah. I know you should, because also if you like look at everybody too, if you look <laughs> at all the other artists you in the should. world, I, I'm like, I say it loud and proud because I just feel like you're so, you have such a crazy talent and also like. I think you have such a, a wide variety. Like, I feel like none of your songs sound the same. You know what I mean? Like, you, like, if you look at your, what do people, when people come up to you, like, BB Rexa, I love, what's, like, the number one song that comes out of their mouth? Uh, if it's, I don't know, it depends on the person. Because if it's, like, real, f- like, true, 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 like, the hardcore fans, they usually like anything from, like, my first EPs. Like, the right, first right. EPs I ever put out. But it's weird. It depends on the person. A lot of people like dance. A lot of people like the country stuff. A lot of people like the, I don't know. It, it just changes. Right, like, it goes, it's, like, me, myself, and I. Then you have meant or to be. Or when I perform, like, when I perform for a new crowd at a festival, a lot of people will be, like, Oh my god, that was her. That was her. Right. Like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was no. me. Yeah, because you're like literally everywhere. But then if you go like to the the tried and true fans, like we like the deep cuts, like knees. Yes, that should have been a single. Yeah, I'm should have been a single. I still want to give it the respect that it deserves yeah. because it's just one of my favorite songs of Thank all you. time. Of all oh, time, really? Yeah, Aww. I know that was doing. It was. I. I don't know what happened. I don't know why we skipped that one, but it is. It will always be a special song. Yeah, it'll always be in my heart, my heart of hearts. Uh, so I'm really excited to have you on the show, just because I have so much like love and respect for you. But and I, by the way, sorry to cut you off. I'm wearing pink today for you because I had the option between blue and pink, and I was like, I have to wear pink for Tanya. Pink represents female empowerment, energy. female energy. Um, also male energy it depends on how, what you're feeling but I feel powerful. Like very, I feel very powerful that's the most important thing I actually I um, hosted this period event a couple weeks ago and I wore a hot pink jumpsuit because I was just like you have to uh, yeah it just yeah. felt necessary vagina vagina yeah, yeah. I'm pink. not sure if we yeah. can say that but that's fine that's fine um okay so first of all how are you doing I'm great. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy with the success of I'm good like just everything happening it feels like a blessing to be honest. How did that, because I know that you started showing people or like, um, was, I don't know if it was dropping hints or like no, it was teases it on wasn't, TikTok. No, it was, it was Geta who, we had done the song five years ago in London. This is a song you did five years ago? Five years ago. And you guys have worked together a lot in the past. A lot. Yeah. yeah. Like in the studio. Um, yeah. He played it at a festival and then somebody took a video on their phone posted it on YouTube, somebody took a clip from YouTube and put it on TikTok, and that's how, and then somebody made a remix of that TikTok, and it exploded on Oh, so so basically, TikTok. like, you've had the song for five years, he just kind of played it at one of these shows. Like, just for fun, like, just to see how it would react. Oh, wow, and so then you guys were like, we gotta go. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we had, we, we rushed that song out. Wow. Yeah, it's a blessing. Yeah. I mean, it's been like COVID. It's been like a tough three, four years. You know, having not have not being in the mix. It's just the industry was in such a weird place. Yeah. Um. And then here comes this little blessing. I'm grateful. Well, I know. I it's a blessing, but also I just feel like you deserve it. Oh, thank you. You, you deserve everything good that's coming your way. Thank you. I really you. believe okay, that. Okay, I'm gonna take all of it <laughs> this time. This time, this time, I'm manifesting and I'm taking everything good that comes my way. And no, I, and, and you I'm should. gonna say that I deserve it because it was weird, you know, in the past. Like every time I would do an award show, or even like when I remember when I did the iHeartRadio Music Awards with G Easy, mm-hmm. I felt like when I was first there because I was around like Calvin Harris and a lot of big, art, you know, and a lot of big other celebrities. I felt like I didn't belong. Yeah, I feel like I. Did you like, have imposter syndrome? Yes. I've had it my whole career. Me too. It's so weird. Like, I'm like, I don't belong here. I don't know if I should be here. And then now it's like, no, we're changing the, we're changing this tune up, ladies and gentlemen. We're but not where doing this that, anymore to ourselves. But I know, but where did that we come belong. from? We belong. We belong and we are here. Where did that come from for you? Um, I think that just like also being in the music business and just never having like that belief in myself and just never feeling like I was good enough. And I think, you know. I was always able to pick myself back up when I got knocked down. Like, I'm always a fighter. But I think I always, every time something didn't, like, you know, a a record label passed on me or a song got, didn't, you know, got passed on or somebody said no to me. Like, I always kind of put that, like, always kept that, like, in my, like, a little nugget in the back of my head. So I'd feel like, okay, this person didn't want to work with me or this label passed on me. And then it always kind of stuck with me. And I was like, 
I don't really belong here. Yeah. You know, and it's like a really weird. I see such a weird thing. I see it sometimes. Like I, I've seen it in the past too. Like with an incredible artist who I love. I see it a lot with Billy too. Sometimes, well, she'll like accept her awards and she'll say certain things, and I'm like, you are a total icon. Like you are amazing. You know what I mean? And like, sis, like you deserve this moment. Like accept it. You know. And but she's like younger, and I and I I see a lot of myself like in her. Like when she, you know, like it's just that we just we need to like love ourselves more and know that we're more worthy than yeah. we think we are it's something i think that happens to to women more than men oh 100 because i like i say it all the time like i feel it as well in this industry like remember when i got my first tv gig i was like me like i don't know what i'm doing but it, it almost makes you nobody knows what, but the, pr- the secret no, yeah, is nobody knows is nobody knows what they're doing yeah, yeah everybody yeah. has no idea and i used to hate the imposter syndrome but i also feel like a little bit of it is good because it keeps you kind going of, like super yeah. motivated to keep pushing and like you see like some of your favorite artists of all time and they keep putting like music out or keep pushing or like keep doing their businesses and you're like why do they keep doing that and it's like sometimes you got to be like they're also like you too like they're also probably trying to get to a they're not probably not happy with where they're at or they don't think they're good enough yet yeah you don't never know what anybody's story is is behind closed doors it's so true and you're right let's like claim it because i feel like we also are so hard on ourselves yeah all of us only positive energy from now on that's yeah. it yeah no more negativity no more negativity um okay well you're talking about i'm good and just how how it sounds weird to say how good the song is doing. Um, what's kind of like uh, in the future for you? What's next? Do you want to like, wh- oh. what do you got? Um, what do you got? <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to um, me. Basically, I have another collaboration coming out, which I can't say just yet. Is but it it's Tovlo? Re- no, it's not Tovlo, but uh, I do have a song with her. I've been working with her. She's I saw amazing, you by the way. And I was like, hello. Love where her. Is this? Love her. We went in the studio together and we wrote, we wrote actually a female anthem. Oh. It's so fun. It's like for all the girls in the club that kind of get left out. Oh, like no guys go up to them? Like all the girls in the back? Yeah, yeah. we wrote a song like about that. It's really, really cute. Um, we're still working on that, so I don't know where that's at. I don't want to promise because then, you know, the fans are going to see this and then go crazy now. Well, you already kind of teased us. You posted yeah. that on your Instagram. Yeah, of us together. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, but we have, I have a collab coming out, um, this year, hopefully, and it's with two amazing artists. It's really excited. We got a little, you know, I can't say, I can't, exa- can't say cause I'll get in trouble. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then in the new year, a, a whole new, um, you know, era coming. I'm very excited about what's the new era. Can't tell you. You'll have to wait and see Tanya. It's, it's so, I love it. I'm so excited. Are you I hope people like, like it as much as I do. And it's like thoughtful, like you. Really yeah, it's like it's, it's like, like an artist project, like oh. it's an artist project. Yeah, because I like. I'm we were trying to go more like you know, you know, close. Just because I feel like I'm at a different point in my life right now, I still have like my rock roots, but I love dance music. And I was like, how can I make this work? How can I take the two things that I love the most and combine them? And I found out a really cool way to do it, and uh, I really love it. And it's like really fun. So what comes with a new era? Like a whole new full everything, album, new, new aesthetic. look, new aesthetic, oh, really? new new BB. Really? So right now we're just, you know, having fun, just heating up the waves, heating up the charts a little bit, trying to get back in the mix, and then boom. 2023 yeah hopefully. i love i love you so much too because i also feel like um i can relate to you in so many ways because i i'm the same way every new year i like make a vision board and you I have wanna, to yeah i have like a new i energy. have a vision board in my house when did you make it i made it during when did we make it? we made it like three months ago oh, oh we make it in march we made it in march and i said in the vision board um get back on the charts like i put like all my like things that i wanted to like and here we are Wow. Yeah. I mean, I put down that I wanted a very expensive house, but that, that you know, we'll see. Well, you know, wait. <laughs> and, but, like, you never know. Like, the vision board, I feel like sometimes, I, so I do mine at the, be- like, January 1st of every year. Oh. Just so it's, like, I know it's, like, I been do a it year. whenever I do it whenever it you speaks feel to me. Like, yeah. whenever it speaks to me. And then I'll hide it. And then when, like, I feel like nobody's coming over, I'll just, like, keep it up so I can actually see it. But I think maybe, like, the house might not come in the year, but, like, it might come in, like, two or it, three it, years. When I did my first vision board, almost everything on the vision board was checked off. Everything. The only thing that was, like, a little if like, I, I, okay, so, like, I didn't, so on my first vision board, it was do my first late night TV appearance. You know, I, like on the vision board. I like board, how specific they are. Like, yes, yeah, so I go more specific. I write, yeah. I write this or I write this or more, mm-hmm. whatever. I put it in like the middle. And then I put all my favorite little like things that I want to do. And one thing was like buy my first house. One thing was be in a healthy relationship. One thing was like get my healthy. first. Healthy. Keyword healthy. Healthy. Yeah. Healthy. Yeah. Um, one was like um, get my first brand deal. Um, first top 10 iTunes. All of it. 
came true. All of it. Wow. Check, check. Some of it, like, you know, it was like I Best New Artist at the Grammys. I was nominated, didn't win, but that's okay. Right, right. Like, I'm adjacent. Ha- I'm, Vision like, board I, adjacent is still great. Yeah, like, I'm still, like, yeah. proud of that. Like, very proud of that and, like, happy. Like, I feel really grateful to, like, have had those moments. So yeah. I was like, time for a new vision board more expensive house more this and that get the parents a house this and that like you know yeah just gotta make the vision boards i love that and if it doesn't come true it's i mean it will it will manifest it, itself in some way if you write it down and put it somewhere it will come true yeah i love that yeah. okay but if you could give us like one word for 2023 bb what would it be i like they were thinking about it i don't know um that's really hard Cause I only have one word. Like, what is words. that? Um, I'll say, I'll say Laurel Canyon. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Is that weird? No, because it's like a vibe. So yeah. I get the vibe. People who are not from LA might not get the vibe. Talk. I'll tell you after. I'll okay. tell you. I'll give you the lowdown <laughs> after. You're gonna love it. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, and, and I'll and say Laurel Canyon glitter. Laurel Canyon glitter. Okay. All right. I like it. I'm into. Oh, and that's it. My like, mom's that's like, it, yeah. that's it. No more. <laughs> um, all right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I love you so much. Everybody, love you more. stream. Uh, David Guetta, BB Rexa. I'm good. No, no, BB Rexa, David Guetta. I'm oh. good. No, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's it is a David song. No, but I'm just kidding. But yes, please stream it. I love you all so much. I love you, Tanya. I love you more. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.